Last June, a member of Iran's atomic agency disappeared while on a religious pilgrimage to Saudi Arabia. Tehran immediately accused the U.S. of abducting him, but the truth may be a lot more complicated. The young scientist apparently has turned up in the U.S. as a defector. And Reza Aslan says his defection is part of a larger CIA program codenamed Brain Drain, and he's written about it for the Daily Beast and joins me now with the very latest on this. I found your story to be just fascinating. Uh, Reza, I want you to kind of talk us through this and, and take us back to the beginning because this sounds like a spy novel come to life. How did this guy yeah. start talking to the CIA in the first place? Well, so Shahram uh, Amiri is a 30-year-old junior uh, uh, level scientist at Iran's atomic agency. As you said, he went on Hajj last June. Apparently, he was detained by Saudi security at the airport in Jeddah for a, a number of hours. We don't know what happened during that detention. What we do know is that two days later, he just simply disappeared. And as you said, the Iranian uh, uh, officials immediately blamed the United States for that. The U.S., as you could imagine, uh, suggested that they'd never even heard of Amiri. But sure enough, nine months later, he pops up in the United States, where apparently he's defected and he's been sharing uh, what secrets he may or may not know about Iran's nuclear program. And, and this isn't the first time that we have heard about an Iranian official, quote, disappearing and then turning up in the U.S. And you say it's part of, uh, of a covert CIA program that was created specifically to try to disrupt Iran's nuclear ambitions. And I don't think a lot of people know about this. I mean, give us a little background how long this has been around. So it was in 2005, under the Bush administration, the CIA put together a, a covert program called uh, Brain Drain. That was its code name. The purpose of the program was to uh, target and persuade high uh, levels, uh, you know, officials who have a pretty good status either within the Iranian military or the Revolutionary Guard or nuclear scientists, uh, to persuade them to defect to the United States and to share what information they, they know. Now, we don't know how many people have actually defected. Uh, some intelligence sources say it's been a handful. We do know that one in particular, a man by the name of Ali Reza Askari, who was a former defense minister uh, and actually was a general in the Revolutionary Guard, disappeared two years ago while on a trip to Turkey. Now, he hasn't showed up. No one has seen uh, or heard anything from him since, but uh, reports say that he is very likely in the United States sharing that information uh, with U.S. intelligence. And, and there's more to it than just targeting the scientists or personnel, too. They, they're using a lot of different tactics, right? You're right, Campbell. Actually, the, the brain drain program itself is part of a much larger intelligence operation uh, to essentially flood the nuclear black market with faulty components. You see, because of international sanctions, Iran has to purchase all of its nuclear material on the black market. And so the United States, along with Israeli intelligence, has been creating these front companies uh, that has been selling uh, Iranian scientists these faulty materials or, or material that in some cases has been booby-trapped to explode. Uh, and the Iranians have, uh, from all that we know, from the reports that have been leaking out, have had a very difficult time. They've had a lot of problems uh, with their enrichment facilities because of this faulty material. So, so on the whole, Reza, and this is a tough question to answer, but, but how successful do you think U.S. officials think that this approach is in terms of, of ultimately uh, at least stalling or Iran's ambitions? Well, it's hard to say. One thing that's kind of interesting is that uh, two years ago when that former defense minister, uh, Askari, uh, disappeared, that was around the time that apparently the U.S. learned about this secret uh, nuclear facility uh, in Qom that uh, President Obama quite dramatically revealed uh, a few months ago. Uh, at the same time, you know, the intelligence sources that, that I've heard from have all said that, look, the, the situation is such that the Iranian regime is so paranoid right now, they are convinced that every single minor technological setback, uh, every problem that they have with their nuclear uh, components is now uh, as, as a result of sabotage. And, and what he was saying was that that alone, the paranoia uh, that, the, that the Iranian regime has, that's worth it. That's worth this program.